Hey fellow backyard boyers, Nick here. Now today I'm going to show you guys how I do a wrap using jute cord. Now I've been kind of on a kick of making bows like this recently. And I just need to wrap one up so I figured I'd show you guys how I do it. Here are a couple bows. What, one thing I really like about using jute cord, and you can see I've used it for the handles and the transitions on both of these bows, is that it gives a bow a really natural look, kind of a more primitive look to it. It also really helps with grip. It's a really positive grip, even if it gets wet. I really like it. Now one of the things about jute is that it's usually a really rough cordage, so it's usually really rough on the hands, a lot of fibers sticking out. But I'm going to show you guys what I do to get the fibers down and you can you can adjust it you can go as coarse or as fine as you like this is a little more coarse you can see this handle is a little more fine this is also darker this is a little lighter so let's get started you're gonna need whatever it is you want to wrap you're gonna need some jute you can see it's pretty fuzzy stuff and you're gonna need a lighter or a torch something that gives off a flame. You want it to be somewhat controllable because you don't want to set this thing on fire. But This is what we're going to be using to get the fluffy stuff done. So let me unstring the bow real quick. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just start wrapping the handle. And really simply, you just want to take the end here, place it down. This little mark is where my arrows are going to go, so I'm just going to wrap around that. Just want to do a couple loose wraps around there first, and once it's secured and it won't go anywhere, just pull on the loose end. Don't pull too hard because jute can't take too much pulling before it comes apart. And then you just want to wrap all the way down to the end of the handle. Alright, so now that you've gotten to about a quarter to a half an inch from the end of where you want to wrap, what you want to do is take your cord and wrap around make a loop with your finger and now you want to pass this pass the spool inside of the loop it's as if you're wrapping backwards so I'm just gonna put about oh quarter of an inch to half an inch worth of wrap in here all right now that I've got some wrap in there I want to bring the spool over to this side. Now I'm going to wrap over. So what I'm doing is taking the cord from this side and bringing it over to this side. That way I can make a nice tight and even wrap. And this will secure the end. So now that you've come down to the end, just want to pull on this, and you've got to pull gently if there are any loops you want to get rid of them. Now pull kind of hard, not so hard that you snap the cord. Alright, so now here you have your loose end. Just cut your loose ends, both at the top and the bottom. And there you go. There's the finished wrap. We've gone ahead and wrapped it all up. So now the fun part. What we're going to do is singe the jute. It's going to clean up the surface. It'll also make this wrap just a little bit tighter. 
So it's a really nice effect. So here we go. Turn on your. There we go. And be careful because you don't want to set everything on fire. So. Just go in little passes. And another thing to note is that you can do this on any type of bow, any material, just anything with plastics like fiberglass or PVC or anything. You want to go light concentrate only on the jute don't hit the rest of the bow just go really light small passes if you concentrate too much heat you're going to ruin it so that's just something to keep in mind all right so now you see all of the fibers have been burned away now if you just kind of fluff up the handle you'll see that new fibers are exposed. The more you do this, the more you burn it or singe it and then bring up the fibers and then singe it and bring up the fibers, the smoother and more uniform the wrap will look in the end. Here it is. So now you see it's a little singed. If you just kind of rub at it, that soot will come off. There it is. Finished wrap. So now you can go ahead, you can seal this. If you seal this, you can use shellac, pretty much any kind of sealer you want. You can just oil this if you'd like, or put beeswax over it. Really, whatever you want to do is fine. Different things will change the texture. If you want a really rough texture like this, you can just leave it as is. Here it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.